Hi guys, welcome back. This is Deepesh from Freshersworld.com. Welcome to our YouTube channel on jobs and careers. So in Java, we have something known as global variable and local variable. So in every programming language, we have global variables and local variables. So let's understand what is this global variable and what is this local variable. So I have an iPhone class. So now I'll try to create a variable with the name. Uh, name is equal to Deepesh. Okay. So now, whenever we declare anything inside a class, we call that as a global variable. So now, whenever I declare something inside a method, so now I'll try to declare one more variable with the name string, name is equal to Ramu. Fine. So let's see the output. Let's try to run our ring class, right? We'll try to see what is the output. So now in this ring method, I'll try to print name okay I'll try to print it name okay I'll try to select this and I'll try to print name fine so in this I'll try to print name okay so you can see the color difference right so you can see this name in blue color and this is something in black or light brown so light I'll try to run this program so let's see the output. Based on that, we'll try to decide what is happening. See, the first thing I called ring, okay? This is the declaration. I'll go to the implementation. So if you want to go to the implementation, you have to press control and hover on the text. So open implementation. I'll go to the implementation now, right? This is my implementation. So what is there? Ramu is there and Ramu is getting printed. So now globally what I have declared, I have declared it as the page. But what is getting printed in my output? What is getting printed? We'll see again. Okay. Yeah, Ramo is getting printed. But what is there in name? The page. Why is this happening? So whenever we try to create a variable inside a method, that variable will have the scope only inside that method. Now I have created a variable name is equal to Ramo. So now Whenever I try to print, it tries to take the immediate variable that is there in the method. So now immediate is nothing but the name. It doesn't try to take it from the class. It tries to take it from that method. So now this, we call it as local variable. So if you declare a variable inside a method, the variable will be having the scope only inside that method. Outside that method, you will not be able to access that name. So now whatever I have printed is the local variable. Now, whatever I'm printing in the second execution of my ring. So I'm passing hi, hello. Okay, that is fine. But still, when I go here, I'm not printing the song. I'm printing the name. The name is nothing but it is trying to take from the global variable. So now when you declare it as a global variable, it can be accessed throughout the class. When you try to declare a variable locally inside a method, it can be accessed only inside that method. I mean to say it has the scope only inside the method that you try to declare. So make sure whether you want the variable to be accessed inside the class or it has to be accessed inside the method. Just decide and try to declare it accordingly. So now here we have declared two variables with the same name. But here whenever I try to print this inside my method, I always try to take the immediate variable and it tries to print out. So if I try to print this name, it's nothing but Deepesh, what should I do? right we have a keyword something known as this so this refers to the current class object so now this is a keyword which will always try to pick from the class so now i'll try to use this okay this dot name so you can see the color change you can see the color change it's now blue now it's not trying to take this variable now whenever i use this it is trying to take the class variable so now this is a keyword which helps us to take the current class object. So now let's try to print this. Let's see what is the output. Okay. Now can you see what is the output? Dpesh and Dpesh. But what is there here? Name Ramu. This doesn't get printed because we are trying to access the global variable. So if you if I take off this this dot name, what will be the output? It's nothing but the local variable that you have declared it has Ramu will be coming up. So now you make sure if you want to declare variables globally or locally. If you declare it locally, you will have the access only inside that method. So now 
let's see whether this local variable can be accessed outside this method okay i'll just try to change this name to you know uh, something some variable name like phone number okay i'll try to make it has phone number and i'll try to make it has 9900099009 okay so this is my phone number and i'll see now i took off this name so now it is trying to take it from the global variable that's great so i'll try to print phone okay okay so now you can print the phone number so that's fine but will i be able to access this phone number inside this method let's try p no no suggestion but still if you want to type you can type the same name no you cannot access what is the uh, error phone cannot be resolved to a variable so it means so if you have declared a variable inside a method you have access only inside it so now this we call it as local variables so if you declare a variable in the class so now that can be accessed throughout your class it might be accessed by any of your methods so make sure what you want to declare and where you want to declare if you want to access global variables use this so now this is a keyword which is used to access current class objects so now if you have two variables with the same name and you want to access the global one as before you know we had uh, name okay i'll try to do control z we'll see we had name so we have two variables with the same name you know in the class level we have the same variable name in the method level also we have the same name so if you want to access global name use this okay now this right if you want to access local one don't use this so it always try to take the local variable which is declared inside the method when you want to access it so whenever you use this make sure it tries to access you the current class object and not which is specific to a method please subscribe to our youtube channel for more java videos please subscribe to our freshersworld.com for more java related jobs thank you